Hi, I'm Nancy O'Neill and welcome to Suncoast FYI. Today we get an inside look at the upcoming Art Walk at Fringling College of Art and Design. Plus we celebrate diversity with the annual Embracing Our Differences exhibit and an elegant ball raising money for environmental conservation. Art, Food, and Music, Ringling College of Art and Design's Art Walk celebrates the work of exhibiting artists, students, and alumni. And here with more is Director and Chief Curator of Galleries and Exhibitions, Tim Yeager and Exhibiting Artist David Hamill. Well, welcome back. And David, welcome to the show for the first Thank time. You. It's wonderful to be back. And Thanks congratulations so on your new job as director and curator of the galleries. Thank you. It's wonderful to, uh, we're very fortunate to be in the position and yeah. um, look forward to everything that's coming yeah, to the you're college. you're doing a great job. You're doing Thank a you. great job. So now this is going to be our second art walk of the season. So let's start telling our viewers about this, please. Well, the first thing is, is if you went to the first art walk, yeah. thank you very much. Uh, but this one, it's not going to rain. No, <laughs> it's not. No. So uh, <laughs> this is a wonderful round of art walks on the 24th of January uh, from 5 to 8 p.m. And in it are eight different exhibitions uh, that will be open to the public, free of charge and family friendly, uh, that has something to offer for everybody. Mm -hmm. Uh, and if you haven't been to an art walk before, I'll try to do my best to paint a picture of what that looks like. Okay, as you paint so well, so go ahead. I'll try. <laughs> uh, there's parking that will be available and signage as you approach the college. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, and then when you park your car, uh, there'll, there'll be a student uh, within the vicinity or a public safety officer who will have maps and directions with a full list of all the exhibitions that we have to offer. So it's so easy to get around. It's, it's really easy. Yeah. You'll be able to grab a map choose what it is that you want to go see first and go take a peek. Uh, so I thought I'd mention a couple of the exhibitions that we have to, okay. to offer and uh, what that might look like. All right. uh, one of the ones that I'm, I'm really excited about is called Spectrum, a celebration of artistic diversity, uh -huh. which includes 23 African-American artists. Wow. Uh, and these are historical figures from uh, Jacob Lawrence to Romare Bearden uh, to Jean-Michel Basquiat. Uh, they'll all be on view in this wonderful exhibition, a very colorful show uh, that consists of paintings, prints, drawings, even photography and sculpture. So uh, that might be one to, to check out okay. uh, when what, you approach what campus. What gallery is that in? That's in the Lois and David Stolberg Gallery, okay. which is our, our premier gallery right in the heart of campus. Okay. Uh, another exhibition that I would, would offer uh, our visitors to come see uh, is Generations of Genius in Glass, which is our annual glass exhibition oh gosh, it's always amazing. in the Bash Gallery, uh, where you can view some of the most beautiful and important examples of glass that's being offered mm -hmm. uh, today. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's definitely one not to miss. Uh, and then the third exhibition that I would offer, uh, and, and we've got a couple more, I can keep going forever. Okay. Uh, is Bill Mayer. He's uh, an alumni from 1972, uh -huh. one of the leading illustrators in America today. And when you walk into this ex exhibition, there's about 50 smaller gouache paintings to view. And they're all of animals and uh, people put together. Uh, but if you haven't seen Bill Mayer's work, I guarantee you, you're going to really appreciate this one. Okay. Uh, a fantastic artist. Alumni from 72, he met his wife at the Aww. Ringling School of Art back then wow. in 1968. So this is an exhibition. The artist will be there. Okay. Uh, so this is, you get to meet him uh, and view his work in person. All right. Now, it, it's not just the, the, the night that everything, I mean, everything's just going to be open for our work, but the galleries are open on a daily basis for the public to enjoy free of charge. Yes, so each of them have slightly different hours okay. and for that you can visit our website okay. at ringling.edu backslash galleries and you'll be able to view all of the information that I'm mentioning right now all right. as well as information about the art walk, hours, directions, all that good stuff is available right there for you to to go see. Okay, mm -hmm. great. So we're gonna turn to David now. David's going to be at the Made by Gallery 
as uh, one of our potters. We have a featured artist, uh, Mark Bettis, who will be uh, joining us. But David, tell us a little bit about you and you brought a couple pieces of your work with you. So tell us about your style and, and why you do what you do. Well, I have a very eclectic style and here's one of them right here. It's a style that, uh, these are custom ordered based on paintings by famous artists. This one's based on Monet. That's beautiful. So thank you. They're wheel thrown and hand carved and then hand glazed. High fire stoneware. Okay. And then I have, and I have other styles as well. Yeah. And this one here. That's it. Starry Night. <laughs> on, just, which I just was lucky enough to see a couple weeks ago at, at MoMA. At MoMA. Yeah, we yes, were there. Yes, me that too. Was it was fabulous. It's always fun to see a yeah. famous painting that you've admired and then copied in your, your <laughs> style. Now, you're bringing three other um, potters with three you. Three excellent potters okay. and, and sculptors. Uh, we're going to have Scott Causey, who uh -huh. does a very modern, slick, sculptural style. Uh -huh. He's a master of glaze technology. He's been featured in many magazines and books. Okay. We have Jay Spaulding, a professor at um, Seminole State College over in the, in the okay. center of the state. And yep. he's do very, very nice functional forms, uh, classical forms with mm -hmm. um, the fish motif and aquatic okay. motifs. All right. And then we have Julie Knight out of New York City who does very contemporary, modern, functional pottery. Great. Very, okay. very eclectic, very nice show, I hope. Awesome. Well, we're all looking forward to that. And Tim, what would you like to finish up with today? Come hungry. We got food trucks that'll be on site. We've got wonderful oh, yeah. artwork uh, to view. Campus is open and ready for, for everyone to come join us. Again, you know, do something different. Okay. Treat yourself to some culture. Come on out and view all the yeah. galleries and experience the college for yourself. Wonderful. Now, Made By is going to be open from 4.30 on, so everybody can stop there first and get ready for the, uh, the big night with, with the Remaining seven galleries, is that correct? We're Absolutely, All yes. Right, great. Well, thank you both for being here. Thank you for having me. And uh, yes, we'll make sure Justin tells us there's gonna, we're not gonna have any rain that night. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Thank you. Just ahead on Suncoast FYI, we hear about an outdoor art exhibit embracing individuality.